Hello again, everyone. Chris Matthew with Forbidden Knowledge News. Today, I'm here with Darcy Weir. He is an independent documentary filmmaker from Canada, trained as a video editor, writer, director, and producer. He has chosen to work on some of the most fascinating subjects that are discussed today, and he's going to be a presenter at the upcoming Laughlin UFO Mega Conference. Darcy, welcome. How are you doing? Good, Chris. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on. I always enjoy, enjoy our conversations. I'm looking forward to meeting you at the conference. And not only are you going to have an amazing presentation, but you're going to be showing, uh, premiering three new documentary films. Isn't that right? That's right. Yeah. So the uh, first day I arrive is on the, I think the Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday, I'll be doing a presentation in the day talking about secret space and uh, my thoughts, my theories, uh, which I'll be presenting later on in film form uh, later in the week. But my secret space research, you know, it really has to do with history, going back to the starting of the NASA space program. Um, I'm really excited to sort of present on that and present on some of the things that I'm working on for the second part of this documentary, uh, Secret Space UFOs Part 2, which will most likely come out way later this year, around Christmas or something like that. So presentation during the day, that night I will be doing a world premiere of two other documentaries, uh, Crop Circle Realities and Volcanic UFO Mysteries. I'll also be doing a Q&A after, so if people want to ask questions about the making of the film, the research that I found, um, you know, some of the folks that are included in the film, that type of thing, I'll be there. Um, and then on Tuesday night, I will be unveiling to the world Secret Space UFOs Part 1, which is the first in a historical sort of chronology presenting space research, um, cover up and UFOs in space. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see all that and hear your presentation. Uh, now I'd like to get to your couple of your thoughts on the secret space program in general. How deep do you think it goes based on, you know, people you've talked to, interviews you've done? Uh, you know, I'm sure you've, you've done a lot of research into the area. How deep do you think we've gone into space? How uh, do you think that we possibly have unknown bases on our moon and possibly Mars or beyond? Um, well, I'll speak to the moon piece of the, that series of questions. The, the moon, I think, definitely has remnants of bases, uh, whether they're ours or someone else's, that's really the, the most interesting part of the answer. Um, you know, people have speculated on this for a number of years because there's been indications uh, by many of NASA's research programs and probes that they've sent out to space, um, pointing to the fact that something anomalous is on the moon. You know, Richard Hoagland's done some good work there. Um, there's all kinds of folks that have lended to the mystery. Uh, I can't say that anything is 100%, but I think what, what we can absolutely prove is that NASA's explanations don't seem to add up. Um, and, you know, even more interesting is that the military is very in bed with NASA. And really, NASA is supposed to look like this complete civilian organization. And, and there are many civilians that work for NASA. But it is, by all accounts, in my opinion, very attached to the Department of Defense. Um, you know, if you think about any country's desire to have absolute military superiority on Earth, the first sort of area that you must dominate, the first uh, space is outer space. 
uh, because this is your theater in which you can conquer the planet. And uh, I think there's really good evidence to prove that we've probably been doing some things in space that are secretive. And there have been things shown on NASA space cameras, NASA, um, you know, voyages with astronauts um, that have presented extremely anomalous and UFO events. And those UFO events have been covered up or explained away as nothing. Um, but, you know, the world is changing right now as we speak. Uh, and I think what the Pentagon is releasing now will unfold um, and eventually will touch many different aspects of research agencies, and that would include NASA. And I think, I don't think it will, I don't think what's happening now will lead to NASA ever admitting that they've taken part in this cover-up, but um, it will rationalize why space should be a theater of operations to dominate by the military industrial complex. And I was just about to ask you, why do you think, uh, you know, especially now that the Pentagon's coming out and agreeing, yes, that these things exist. We don't know what they are. We just had the 60 minute special the other day. We're supposed to have this information dumped in June. Um, why do you think now all of a sudden that they're starting to admit these things and show more of an interest? Um, do you think there may be something down the pipe that they know about, or maybe they're trying to roll out these secret space program toys that they already, you know, have in production? What do you think about that? Well, I think, yeah, the Navy patent that was released recently that showed a, you know, a triangular shaped craft um, that is pretty much identifying what many people have called the TR3B. TR3, yeah. yeah. And um, is that a space capable uh, aircraft? I don't know, but there have been many, many sightings of a um, Delta shaped craft, a uh, triangular shaped um, UFO floating in space around earth many, many, many throughout history. And so I think that would, it would make sense that they're going to at one point, maybe demonstrate that that's part of their arsenal um, to defend earth from tic-tac UFOs, whatever uh, they're trying to drum up in terms of that um, story. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't know for sure what the end game is. Uh, I can only speculate. And anybody who says they do know is lying because the only people that could know are the Pentagon and, and the department of defense. So I think, uh, it's, it's, it's rational to be skeptical about what, what their, uh, story is. Um, there's going to be people that fall into many camps. Um, there, there's going to be people that are paranoid that this is a, a power grab move um, to lock down things even more on the planet. Maybe there's people that will believe that uh, they're trying to start a war with aliens or something like that. This has been a, a long running theme, you know, since, uh, Greer's 2001 disclosure project, Carol Rawson, you know, working, working for Werner von Braun. These are all theories that have been out there for a long time. Um, and, uh, then there's a, a huge camp of people that believe, you know, we might be entering the age of Aquarius and we'll be, you know, having mass contact and, uh, you know, we'll be able to join our space brothers, walk right onto their craft and head off to another planet or some other star. But I don't think that's going to happen. I, I, I think there's, uh, you know, maybe some uh, more boring things that are going to happen as a result of this disclosure. 
Unfortunately, that's usually the case. I, I don't see us walking on board with our Star Brothers anytime soon. Uh, but you're also uh, going to be uh, premiering your film, Volcanic UFO Mysteries, which I find fascinating because I've seen plenty of uh, very intriguing videos of UFOs hanging out or kind of buzzing near active volcanoes. Based on your research, would you say that this is a common occurrence that these UFOs will hang out near these active volcanoes? Yeah, I think in the documentary will demonstrate that there's a long history of anomalous craft going in and out of active volcano areas. Um, in and out, meaning sometimes going into the craters of these volcanoes and sometimes just being very close uh, in, in presence to an active volcano. And, uh, you know, what people might note is that any civilian aircraft, first of all, it's completely unrealistic that these could be uh, operating in, in this aerospace because it's extremely dangerous the ash the um you know pyroclastic flows everything about this environment is not safe for a civilian aircraft uh or commercial aircraft and um then that leaves what are these objects um you know so we speculate that in the documentary and uh specifically we focus on uh, many of the sightings that have happened around volcanoes that are active in Mexico. That's going to be really cool. I can't wait to, to see those uh, documentaries, hang out with you um, and see your presentation and, of course, hang out with everyone there. Now, if, if people are interested in finding out more about some of the documentaries you've done already and your previous work, what's the best way that they can do so? Sure. Uh, they can just head over to my website. It's www.occultjourneys.com. Uh, and there you can click on the poster for the film. It'll take you right through to a site to stream and watch. Um, and also you can watch the trailer and read about the film before you really jump in to the dive end, to the deep awesome. end. <laughs> yes, that's going to be great. Well, I can't wait to meet you in Laughlin uh, and hear all the wonderful presentations there and meet all of you. So I look forward to it. I hope to see as many of you as possible. Thanks, Chris. Looking forward to it, too. This year's Laughlin UFO Mega Conference is going to feature over 36 scientists, researchers, and contactees. They're going to be presenting incredible disclosures over seven days. You can now register for the full week for half a week or even by the day or session. And not only is there going to be over 36 amazing presentations, you're going to get a sky watch, meet and greets, and exclusive film screenings. And there's always going to be only one presentation at a time, so you don't have to miss anything. And did I mention that there's no longer any mask mandates in Nevada? So you can now enjoy this amazing seven-day conference mask-free. Just go to their website, LaughlinUFOMegaConference.com, and register now. Last year's conference was absolutely amazing. This year's is going to be even better. So join us for an incredible seven days of education and disclosure at the Laughlin UFO Mega Conference.